Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Again, welcome to the channel. Um, I wanted to see if I could follow the instructions that I saw on the Raspberry Pi forum in this article and see if I could um, perhaps build the uh, user space, uh, the user land uh, utilities following these instructions. I'm running a, on Raspbian 11 Bullseye and uh, this is on a Raspberry, Raspberry Pi 4 with four gigabytes of RAM, and it's running on Linux kernel 5.10. In a previous video, I showed how I enabled the legacy camera stack. You may wanna to refer to that. Uh, but with the Raspberry, uh, with the legacy camera stack enabled, I still don't have tools like uh, Raspberry uh, vid uh, when I, execute the raspberry vid command it, it uh, says uh, that it's the command is not found and when i try to now use the um, live camera utilities i also won't be able to open the camera because i'm using the legacy cameras uh, camera stack so although i personally don't really use raspberry vid and raspberry still uh, the user land utilities for the camera much it's still something good to have uh, in case my own program is like unable to open the camera. I have some other utilities that I can use. So what I wanna do in this video is to just follow um, these instructions uh, that were posted by the moderator, six by nine, who is a Raspberry Pi engineer and forum moderator. He um, uh, has posted in the past before about camera issues and on the forum and his responses are very, uh, seem credible to me uh, to follow uh, and uh, they they have usually worked out for my for me when I've uh, uh, taken a look at the comments uh, that a six by user six by nine posts. So in the previous video, I um, followed the instructions that that the user suggested um, and um, I enabled. Um, the legacy camera stack this way and are rebooted and uh, now i'm using the old v4l2 drivers today in this video what i'm going to do is to try to follow these steps first thing is to make sure we have the right uh, cmake uh, i've already installed cmake um, so it is the cmake that is, comes with the apt install package for uh, Raspbian 11 Bullseye. I didn't have to make uh, CMake from sources, build it from sources, because it's newer version 3.18.4. But anyways, the command to install it is install CMake. I've already issued that, and it's already the latest version. The next thing is to make sure that there's a bin directory um, as the, so make there dash P, in the home in the um in your home directory so that already existed for me uh, i have it already there and then there's uh, some items in it but if it didn't exist uh, make their dash p uh, tilde slash bin will uh, create it for you. the reason to create this is because uh, when this directory exists in the home directory it'll be added to the path so if i look at the path um, it will be on my um, path. So that way later when the uh, user land utilities are made, uh, I can uh, just um, uh, copy them in there and they'll be on my path and they will be found. Next thing what I'll do is I'll make a um, source directory uh, in the normal uh, places that I, uh, that I uh, Put my source code for that i get from github and so on so i'm going to create one from uh for uh raspberry pi uh, the github repos uh, github.com repos for raspberry pi and that uh, i'm going to then switch to that so in here there's nothing right now so what i'm going to do is paste the uh, git clone command that uh, user uh, six by nine uh, provided. Uh, that's https colon slash slash github.com slash raspberry pi slash user land. So, so once that's uh, been cloned, uh, you switch to the user land directory 
and in here there is a build me uh, script I'm just going to execute that and that's going to start uh, compiling there is a warning there but it uh, doesn't affect anything the next thing that the moderator 6x9 had suggested was to take copy um, all the files that are in the bin directory and put them in the tilde bin directory the, the home bin directory so i'm gonna just do that as well so um, let's take a look at what's in the build directory uh, there's a bin there's an ink there's a lib uh, but uh, for execute the, executing them that's uh, all that's needed so just copy build slash bin slash star to slash bin and that should um, do it it's uh, now they should be on the on the um, path so if I were to execute um, rasby vid uh, it should be able to find it yeah and it's finding it and it's giving the um, rasby vid uh, you know uh, usage uh, I'm going to say rasby vid dash t0 um, see if it's able to show anything okay it's not showing anything so let's take a look at the post uh, from the moderator in the post first of all it says uh, the moderator six by nine said that if a bin directory exists in your home directory then the default profile dot profile adds it to your path and hence it will be find these copies of the binaries if you need the binary ac accessible by all users then copying them to into a slash user slash local slash bin would be the normal solution note that with the graphic stack having been changed to be full kms by default then the firmware can no longer uh, a preview display to the screen please use dash n option for no preview or uh, some other suggestion which is a little bit more drastic so i'm just going to go back to my command line so i'm back at the command line i'm just going to give the dash n uh, option and see if it'll show anything it's still not showing anything i'm not sure where it's going let me see uh, it may be sending it to the um oh i'm in vnc so it may be sending it to hdmi so uh, i'm trying to see if it's maybe going to it's not coming to the vnc screen but um, i'm doing remote desktop but let's check the hdmi output i have another raspberry pi uh, that is connected to this uh, um, this one by hdmi through a video capture device so i can look at um, look at the output of this uh, HDMI output of uh, my uh, uh, bullseye machine uh, on this other unit and uh, this is what I'm looking at I'm running my um, time ex uh, time exposure program here it's in the preview and I don't see any output uh, from the Raspberry Pi bullseye coming out so it looks like uh, this one if it was on HDMI this other machine should should be able to see it so let's look back so the next thing to check is this uh, other line in the um, in the post by user six by nine that note that with the graphic stack having been changed to the full KMS by default then firmware can no longer um, a preview to the display to the screen please use the dash n option for no preview or edit slash boot config.txt again and change the DT overlay VC4 KMS V3D to v DT overlay equals VC4 dash F KMS V3D. Second note, this is still 32 bit only. M mount support port on 64 bit is still partially broken. Okay, so let's uh, try that. I'm going to break out of Raspberry vid since nothing is showing up and then going to go to um, boot config.txt and look for vc4 
Okay, so there's the DT overlay for VC4-KMS-V3D. So I'm going to just change that to be the fake uh, KMS. So again, what I did is change this line and added an F, the letter F, uh, ahead of uh, KMS, uh, before KMS. I'm going to close this and uh, reboot the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I've rebooted with Bullseye and with the FKMS video stack. Okay, so let's see if Raspberry Vid uh, can uh, display now to the um, to the screen. I have Raspberry Vid running here on Bullseye, but nothing's showing up on the VNC screen. So there's still a possibility that it's sending its output to um, HDMI output. So the the way I would uh, check it, I will switch to the VNC uh, for my other Raspberry Pi, which is connected by HDMI and capturing the HDMI output of this bullseye machine. So here it is. Uh, here's my program running on the other Raspberry Pi. It has opened uh, the USB video in this. Uh, uh, you can see here that it's uh, looking at the USB video. If I were to, um, so that's the HDMI output. If I look at the camera of this machine directly, it would show a different scene. So now I'm pretty sure that Raspberry Vid is actually putting, putting the, uh, is working for, uh, on Bullseye because I can see the output coming out to, out to the HDMI. Since I don't personally use these uh, Raspberry utilities that often, I'm not sure exactly what what most people would use it for. But the, I think this um, these instructions from uh, the um, user, the moderator um, six by nine were very helpful for me at least to be able to build. So it's important to not only build the user land um, utilities you also need to switch back to the v4l2 driver by following the earlier instructions and then if you don't see any output on hdmi then uh, change the overlay to to be fkms i hope this information is useful and hope to see you in another video